for speaking up. Oh, thank you, Ali. Dahil kahit hanggang ngayon, hindi mo pa din ako pinabayaan. Alam ko na these past few months ay napakahirap para sa atin. Para sa ating dalawa. Para sa ating lahat. And I have mad respect for you dahil kinaya mo pa rin ako ipagtanggol. Kahit alam ko na gustong gusto mo na din magsalita. And actually, sa lahat ho na nandito ngayon na nanonood at nakikinig, pinili ko na lang ho talaga sanang manahimik at lunokin lahat ng mga binabatong salita sa akin ng lahat ng tao. Pero kasi, here I am at my happiest moment at madami pa din pong nadadamay at nababalik na mga pangalan kahit hindi naman na ho dapat. At mas lalo pa pong dumadami yung mga fake news. Hindi ko na ho pahahabain pa, kaya here is my side of the truth. And I hope you would all listen or at least give me a chance to explain. Grabe, nasa 80K na tayo. Okay, my hands are shaking. Hinanda ko na yung mga babasahin ko para di yung magkakamali. I would like to address each issue one by one. So please bear with me. I'm gonna start off with... We broke up last year. Early October yon, And it was a painful breakup but... It was a mutual decision, yung paghihiwalay namin. We both loved each other truly and deeply. We've learned so much from each other, but in the end, we realized na we weren't growing as individuals na. Lahat ng fake news at pag-a-assume nyo sa nangyari sa relasyon namin, hindi ko totoo yun. We ended on good terms, at yun naman ang importante. Napag-usapan din namin, We promised each other na magpapatuloy pa rin kami sa work namin. Because we... We love each other as friends. And we also like the company of each other as actors. At gusto namin matupad yung pinag-usapan namin two years ago tungkol sa mga pangarap namin. Yun lang ho. Hindi na magbibigay na masyado pang detail. Basta nire-respeto kasi sa Fidelina at nire-respeto ko yung love team namin. At mahal na mahal ho namin yung fans namin. Second, I admit I made an honest mistake and that was showing my emotions online sa public. Kaya this is why you should always think before doing something at aaminin ko, my mind was too clouded with sorrow that I forgot to think about what will happen next or how this could affect me and people around me. I had no contact with them when I saw the picture. So I made a TikTok which made everything worse. I know that I should have asked first. I should have consulted my managers before posting it. Or sana na nahimik na lang talaga ako. Pero sana man lang guys, once may isip nyo na tao lang din ako. And it was my first heartbreak so hindi ko talaga alam kung paano siya iha-handle. But I couldn't blame you guys kasi never naman kami nag-out sa relationship namin. Kaya kahit masakit na sinasabi ng mga tao na wala akong karapatan kasi never naman naging kami masakit. Kasi actually naging kami. Naging kami for two years and three months. Kaya nga I used that song because the lyrics in that song was the most accurate and most relevant lyrics to what I was feeling at the time. Wala din naman akong sinisisi. I never meant to pull anyone down. Ayoko manira ng tao. Nagulat lang din talaga ako and I was just really hurt. Kasi kaibigan ko pa yung kasama. Pero I had no bad intentions. Hindi ko lang talaga naisip because I was acting based on my emotions. At pagkakamali ko yun. I tried to call so many times to have an explanation makakuha ng sagot, but no one answered. And, no meron naman ang sumagot, it was too late. It was too late for me to take it all back. It was too late for me to post, uh, to delete the video that I posted. Kaya, guys, please take this lesson from me. Learn to reflect, to pause, and to breathe when everything is falling out of place. Para sa akin naman kasi, Basta kapag masyado na puno yung emosyon mo, please, pause ka muna. Don't do anything foolish. Don't do anything without knowing the whole truth. Pero para sa akin naman, it is never foolish to post your emotions online. Because sadness is 
a natural and a valid feeling for a human being to feel. Pero kasi since we live in a generation where everything you do and say can be used against you in a negative way, you should always be cautious with your actions. Kasi whether you had good intentions, it won't matter na once it's out sa public. Because people will always twist everything. Third, after posting the TikTok, ang dami ng kumalat na fake news. Wala pong totoo doon. Hindi po ako nagloko. Hindi ko din joke yung mga pinagkalat nyo. Nakasama akong lalaki sa pictures. At pinakaimportante sa lahat, hindi ho ako nanugod sa dressing room. Hindi ko talaga. I also don't know where people got that. Ang alam ko lang parang may isang dummy account na nag-tweet. And it's funny because naniwala naman agad lahat sila kahit it was just words. Pero kasi meron ding entertainment reporter, may public figure na sinabi yun sa vlog niya, which made the alleged rumor more credible for people to believe. Aaminin ko, I was mad. I was mad furious and I wanted to file a case sa mga tao nagpakalat nun. And in every lie that was thrown at me without any concrete proof. I was mad and broken because everyone was accusing me for something that I didn't do. Guys, let's be real. Kung totoo naman yun, sana kumalat na. Pero walang kumalat na video. There are CCTVs in every corner of ABS-CBN and I actually asked for a footage para lang may mapakita ako sa mga tao na hindi ko to ginawa. Andito ako sa elevator, bumalik ako sa dressing room. I didn't do that. Pero matagal na yun. And di ko na tinuloy kasi binaon ko na sa limot yun eh. Kasi alam ko yung katotohanan. Alam ng Diyos yung totoong nangyari. So, kinalimutan ko na lang and I moved on. I wanted to speak out months ago pa. It was the worst two weeks of my life. I wanted to know, I wanted to let everyone know what really happened. Because I'm so tired of taking all the blame for something that I didn't do. I'm so tired of people. And by the way, guys, yes, may binabasa talaga ako kasi I want, I, ayoko may maiwan na detail. I'm so tired of taking all the blame for something that I didn't do. I'm so tired of people portraying me as the bad guy based only on alleged rumors that has no truth. Pero kasi I found my peace and I decided to forgive and to forget. I decided to work harder na lang and let my actions speak for myself. I've been through worse. Ano pa naman to, di ba? I also realized that why should I prove myself if everything I do nor say will not be enough for people to believe. Kasi naisip ko, only uneducated people listens to silly rumors. So I please them. Kasi kahit ano naman gawin ko, hindi nila mauunawaan yun. Kaya I moved on. So the reason why I did this now is for people to move on na din. I didn't do this to create another issue. I didn't do this to create another problem, to be called a victim, or to be called problematic. I'm doing this for closure. I'm not asking you to believe in me. Kasi this is for everyone. Closure for me, closure for my fans, closure to their fans. Hindi nyo kailangan maniwala. You can do whatever you want with my statement. Pero ito na yun. I'm happy na I did my part. And I own up to it. Alam ko naman mas madali paniwalaan ang chismis kaysa sa katotohanan. Kaya nga mas madami naniniwala dun eh. Pero the truth isn't easy to accept, but it will set you free. Masaya na ang puso ko ngayon. At ipagdadasal ko na sana matutunan na din nating lahat na maging masaya para sa iba. And since we also have 156,000 viewers, I will take this opportunity to say na sana pagtuunan na lang natin ng pansin ang mas importanteng bagay, malapit na ho ang eleksyon. So please, vote wisely. Tama na po ang away. Let's all love. I love you all so much. Thank you sa lahat na naniwala sa akin at hindi naniwala agad. And sa mga naniniwala pa rin, I'm just happy na nalabas ko na lahat na to. Love you all so much. Bye! Paano to i-end? Tapos i-save? Oh, bye-bye.